Hi everyone, in this problem we have to find the interval of convergence for this power series. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll start by using the ratio test. So the ratio test you sa says you start by taking the limit as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a sub n plus 1 over a sub n. And one of three things can happen uh, when you use the ratio test. So if the result is less than one, we have uh, convergence. If it's bigger than one, we have divergence. And if it's equal to one, we unfortunately have no information. So we want to, to find the values of x for which this series converges. So we want to force convergence. So we'll take this limit and try to force it to be less than one. So this is equal to the limit as n goes to infinity of the absolute value. All right, so now we're going to replace all of the n's with m plus ones. So here we have two n factorial. So when you would replace your n with m plus one, you get two times m plus one and then factorial. So you distribute the two and that becomes two n plus two factorial. It's a super key step. So this is two n plus two factorial. Then here we have x over nine and then to the n plus one. Again, really, really careful step. I remember uh, when I first learned this, this step was not in the book. And I remember thinking, what do you do when, when there's a two n factorial? Well, you just replace the n with n plus one and then you distribute the two. So it's kind of a mysterious uh, step that's often overlooked. On the bottom, we just have a sub n. So this is 2n factorial. And then here we have uh, x over 9 to the n. And then we have the absolute value. All right, good stuff. Let's go ahead and um, clean this up. So this is equal to the limit as n approaches infinity. All right, I'm going to do the simplifications uh, on the side. Let me use a different color. How about, mm, pick a color. How about this one? So we have 2n plus 2 factorial over 2n factorial. So 2n plus 2 factorial, it's just 2n plus 2. And then as with any factorial, you just keep subtracting one over and over again. So when we subtract one from 2n plus 2, that becomes 2n plus 1. And then if you, if you subtract one again, it becomes 2n. I'll go ahead and write it. Subtract it again, it becomes 2n minus 1, etc. You keep doing it all the way until you get to 3, 2, 1. And then 2n factorial is just 2n, and then subtract 1, so that's 2n minus 1 all the way until you get to 3, 2, 1. So I showed a lot of extra work here just to point out that this piece here, and I'll put it in a box so you see it, is 2n factorial, which is what's on the bottom, right? So boom, all goes away, and we're just left with 2n plus 2, 2n plus 1. That's what we're left with there. So that's what goes up top. So we have 2n plus 2 and then 2n plus 1. And then we have to deal with these. So what you can do here is think of it like this. We have x over 9 to the m plus 1 over x over 9 to the n. And so we can rewrite the numerator as x over 9 to the n times x over 9 to the 1. Because when you add the, when you multiply these, you add the exponents. So this cancels. And so we're just left with x over 9. Okay, so we have to take this limit. Now, you might be saying, wait a minute, this limit does not make sense. And you would be correct for the most part. So n is approaching infinity. That means that all of this stuff here, this 2n plus 2, 2n plus 1, this is blowing up. This is going to infinity. But we want this to converge. So the only way this limit will exist is if we make x equal to 0. Because if x is equal to 0, 
everything is going to be zero because zero times a number is zero. So the only way this will work is if x is equal to zero. So this is equal to zero only when x is equal to zero. And that would be less than one. So the only time this limit exists is when x is zero. So the only time it's less than one is when x is zero. So the only place this series converges <laughs> is zero. So the interval of convergence is the set containing zero. Really, really different from some of the other problems. But if you think back to the convergence theorem for power series, this is one of the cases. One of the cases in the convergence theorem for power series is the series only converges at the center. The center of this power series is zero, and this is the only place it converges. So kind of an interesting example. Um, it doesn't happen a lot, but it does happen. And how would you know to recognize it? Well, you're working out a problem and you get something like this, and you're like, wait a minute, the limit's infinity, uh, or is it? Well, if x is zero, then in this case, the whole thing is zero, so the limit is zero, and so things are good. I hope this video has been helpful.